Okay, let's just start part two from chapter five, IMAP and part three on dovecote. In previous video, I explained about the how to set up post fix. So now we are ready to use SMTP server. And after that, next, we need to configure dovecote as a server to support IMAP and part three. First, here, Number one, Dovecot support normally the PAP3, PAP3S, IMAP, and IMAP-S. So uh, to use this Dovecot, we need to install first using this command, yum-y install Dovecot. And after that, we need to configure four files like this. First one, etc open the etc slash dovecot slash dovecot.conf here we need to configure two lines first on protocols so here at first time try to let's try to configure to support only two protocols such as imap and pop city and after that in the line of the reason here just we use this one star star mean this one only support IPv4. And the B, and after that, the next file, try to open this one, 10, the uh, auth.conf auth here, we need to configure two lines here. So disable uh, underbar, the plain text underbar, auth, no, and authentication mechanism plain log, it mean it mean now the dovecon needed authentication but this kind of authentication can be implemented by plain text without any the encryption so using these two lines dovecon will support authentication by plain text c often the 10 uh, hyphen mail dot come here we can define the exact the mail directory per each user's home directory so if we send the email then normally the user's home directory will save this kind of email to this directory so here we have to define exact directory name d 10 hyphen master.com. So here, uh, around the five lines. So here we have to configure, exact the permission mode and the username and group name to support this, the IMAP server. And after that, we need to start double code, service double code, start or restart. And uh, if we want to register to the level, then we can use the CHK config like this. And after that, number two testing. Now we configure the dovecot to support two protocol here, IMAP and the pop 3 So we can test like this using exact port. 110 is a pop 3 143 is a port for IMAP. So, and after that, I will show you how to configure MUA. In the graphical MUA, there are here, I will show you the three kinds, Evolution and Thunderbird on the Linux system and the Outlook on Windows 7. So Evolution, we need to install first, Yum install Evolution like this. And this one will be the installed on the server system of the Linux and to support this one the will support pop3 and the username will be tland at uh, the email address will be the tland at charl.com and the thunderbird will be installed on the client system for to support imf and uh, this one will configure the email address for admin at charl.com and the windows especially the Outlook 2010 here, I uh, will configure to support this email address, john at charl.com. If you want to use the uh, MUA based on the console, 
then you can use the mute or patch mail in like this. Okay, then let's just start from the Docker first. Okay. First here, let's check Docker package. Okay, in my case, I already installed this one. So if you don't have just uh, install like this install double code hyphen y like this so in my case i already and uh, first let's check the okay names of first in my case because of the to support the domain the chart.com okay here in my case five and after that Okay, so please check the name server. And after that, the service first fix. And after that, the service double code. Okay, so here at first let's check the domain first host hyphen a chul com. So in my case now the name server ns.chul.com and the mail server ms1.chul.com and ms2.chul.com. So now in my case this name server support this domain name. Okay, then let's go to the double code. Okay, first let's open dobco.com here. First one, line number 20 here, protocols. So in my case, I have the three. So here, okay, let's try to, let's try to configure here only the support two, I map and pop three. And after that, the uh, line number 26 here, listen only the star. Star mean only the support, IPv6 only, IPv4 interfaces. And one more thing, line number 33, login greeting. In my case, I, at first time, the default, the greeting is like this top code already, but I recommend you to change this greeting because uh, top code, is a kind of information to be leaked to the attackers. So please try to change this one. Okay, that's all. WQ and after that, conf D. So first, 10 us here. Okay, please let's go first here. Okay, there are line number nine here. Disable plain takes us no. So here, disable is a kind of negative. No is a negative. So the uh, result will be positive. It means uh, this one, the dove card, will support plain text authentication. Okay, and after that, Let's go to the line number 97 here. Authentication mechanism plain login. So it means it's a kind of the plain text authentication. It means now the dove call will check the password based on plain text without any encryption. Okay, then that's all. And after that, 10 uh okay mail first okay here line number 24 mail location mail directory will be this one tilde mean the user's home directory and uh, for each user's home directory we need this kind of directory to save the email so default directory will be mail dir like this Okay, then that's all. Okay, then, and after that, the last one will be 10. Uh, master, okay, this one is important. Okay, first one, 
let's check the line number 38 here pop3 login so here this one will be the pop3 and port number 110 if we want to use pop3 s then port number will be 999 okay and after that the uh, uh, okay so we must seeing here before okay here i map as well i map login support i map protocol and port number will be 143 i map s 993 like this okay and after that let's go to authentication here service us line number 75 service us so here we have to permit this one unix listener us user database modern permission and user and group name so here please check user post fix already exists or not like this etc password and it is shadow like this so now here first fix has a uid 89 gid 89 okay and uh, but the shadow no password like this so now we are ready to use the double call okay check the service double code we start okay please check the process and after that uh, let's check the port number And 80 grab and after that 43 so here we can find port number and the port number for IMAP like this okay then test tell it local host first one like this so here we can find the exact our the change it greeting so here for example user in my case try to use linux pass linux one two three four okay list so now there are okay then r10 so here now it means the read the uh, email the tense so the tense email has this kind of information the sender and the receiver recipient and the contents and the header information like this okay now the pops is working well and after that 43 okay this one that is imap imap also as well is working well plain text and here we can find the greetings Okay, now I the exit from the IMF. So with the test already, the check uh, this one is working well. So now try to configure MU way, especially the graphic MU way first in the server part. So here let's try to configure evolution first. The check the package. okay so in my case i have already installed this kind of packages if you don't have just install you install mission iphone y like this okay then in my case i already installed this and here if you are successful to install the uh, here you can find in my case here evolution or okay forget about this one okay so here you can find the uh, evolution okay please click okay at first time if you click this so you can find that this kind of the gui so let's just start here as i told you so in the uh, server part i will configure username the tland and the domain name will be child.com and uh, in the client system i will configure username admin and the windows i will configure junk okay let's go back okay let's start here okay click forward so here in my case uh, will be the full name user tland and the email address will be tland 
domain name char.com okay this one okay forward and the here with the server will be the pop and the server so here ms1.char.com okay and the username will be the tlan and the security no encryption authentication type here the password okay check for the support types and uh, remember password like this okay forward okay forward and the server type here it will be the smtp and the server will be ms1.chur.com like this and the security no encryption okay forward and the uh, okay apply okay so then if we are successful here you can find uh, this kind of the screen in my case already the tland has an email so here i can see this kind of email okay then go to the client system so here okay this one as well need to configure to use a uh, domain name here okay so in my case okay i will change this one 85 and uh, so here this one let's check host a so here this one this uh, domain as well the support this name ms1 ms2 like this using this name server okay then here let's check the first uh, package uh Thunderbird so I already installed this one and if we are successful to install this one you can find normally this one here internet uh, Thunderbird so in my case I already move here the icon okay click okay in my case i already configured the user linux so here i will configure the one more user so if you that here let's check the, okay create a new account then you can see this kind of screen so try to the check or communicate the server so please check here skip this and use my the exist email okay click and here you can find this kind of screen so okay in my case user uh will be the username admin and here admin chur.com and the password in my case admin 1234 okay continue so this one now try to configure or find here okay so here uh incoming the protocol will be imap because in the server system i already used the pop city so here is the imap and the server name ms1.char.com and the smtp as well this one is a ms1.char.com and username admin and the port uh, this one will be 143 and this one will be 25 and the ssl the you know, support you not know, support and the authentication the normal password normal this one the smtp no authentication like this okay done okay understand the risk done okay here admin okay let's test the later and after that let's go to the windows here so this is uh, the outlook 2010 so here try to configure the user admin so yeah first time you can uh, see this kind of screen but we have to configure this one the so select this one. manually configure server setting or additional server types okay next and the internet email and okay here let's try to configure your name in my case jung char email address jung chur.com and here will be the imap incoming server in my case now the windows has uh, using the, the other names of a so in this case i will the uh, write here one line two 
85 IP address SMTP as well 85 and the username Jung password in my case oh, okay Jung one two one two three four okay test here okay complete close and after that next okay complete close so finish so now uh, this user is uh, John okay then now test to send and receive the email here First, in the sub part, I the configure here username the tland, so tland will the send the email. Okay, try to send. So send now the tland chart.com. Okay, to first lin, uh, okay admin admin chul.com and the cc jong chul.com. This one. Uh, we'll be testing double quote. Okay, this is uh, testing testing mail from Tland to admin and John. Okay, and after that, send. Okay, now let's uh, check in the client system. This one is admin now. Admin, okay, check. So now, right now, I send the email to the admin, and the title is testing dot code, and I can see the content here, and so here is from user Tilan and the CC Chong. So I'm successful to receive email from Tilan to admin, and let's check the windows here. Okay, in Fox. So today, user Tland. Okay, so this one, user Tland, the sender, and to admin and the CC. So the content, this is testing mail from Tland to admin. So, so I'm successful to send the email from Tland to admin and Jung. And uh, uh, receive as well is successful in the client based on the this one is a Thunderbird and this one Outlook. So now here in the Outlook, let's try to send the email. Okay, new email. Okay, so here try to use uh, okay first uh, till and okay till and chul.com and the cc will be admin chul.com okay mail testing on windows okay so this is uh, testing mail from John to tland and okay tland and oh sorry and uh, uh admin okay like this okay here i will change tland and after that this one let's try to send so now check first on this one the client system username is admin so here let's check the windows so the user Jung Chol and the Tland and admin and this is a content and the go to the Tland based on the evolution okay uh, box so here okay uh, and the send and receive okay here we can find the new email and after that Okay, let's check here. In fax, I found a new mail. Okay, let's check. So this one is a uh, Chong from the Windows. And this one to Tland and the CC admin based on the Thunderbird. So this is a uh, content. So I'm uh, successful to send and receive based on 
the evolution, Thunderbird, and our look. Okay, uh, so far I show you how to set up uh, Dove call and uh, starting the server, and uh, how to set up MUA and uh, testing to send and receive an email. And the uh, next video uh, will explain from the chapter 7 about the first fix alias. Okay, see you next video.